What's up, everybody? Uh, today, gonna do a video on um, replacing the factory tail light in my 2004 uh, Harley Road King with this uh, LED Eagle Claw tail light um, that I picked up off of Amazon. Uh, this tail light was $39.99. I'm trying to go with a like blacked out kind of look to the back of my bike, and um, this one was a little bit different than the normal ones, uh, normal tail lights that you find. Um, you know, generally saturating the market on eBay and Amazon or, or your basic, you know, LED style taillights like this. Smoked out. They look cool and everything. Uh, this one has a slightly slightly different look to it. And uh, I think that's kind of what I, I liked about it. So uh, real quick, I'll open up the box, give you an idea of what came in here. Now, I will tell you, I did go ahead and pre-wire this thing into the, into the, um, the, the connector that comes with it uh, just in the, in the um, to try to save time a little bit. <clears throat> but the uh, the light is of good quality. It's of real good quality. It comes with a little statement um, of equipment compliance. All right. Uh, inside here, you're going to see it's going to come wrapped in this bag. And then on top of that, there is um, a little plastic sleeve that they put over the lights so that it doesn't get any damage. Um, First off, the cool part about this light that I like is it's actually glass. It looks like glass and then all the smoked, uh, or I should say all the blacked out part of it is behind everything. So it's not the actual plastic that's smoked. Um, it's the, the insert behind it that's black that gives it that, that kind of cool look. Uh, three little small LEDs at the top there. And then you have this Eagle Claw uh, looking style light, which is much different than, than the, the normal, um, you know, 30 LED or, or 60 LED style taillights that you see that are on the market. Uh, it does come with that connector, like I said, on the back and in the, um, you know, just for time purposes, um, you know, I wired it up already. It's quite simple. Uh, all you do is look at the uh, the connect on your other taillight when you take it out and um, insert these wires exactly the same. The only thing I can tell you is there's going to be some slight color variation on the wiring uh, being that, you know, there's one purple here and on the factory taillight there is, uh, there is no purple. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the taillight off the bike and compare the two and you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about. All right, pulling the taillight will require a number two Phillips. In here, pop these screws out real quick, and you will have to reuse screws. Uh, it does not come with new ones. Get that tail it out. And then we have one little plug underneath here. If you reach up underneath, push on this little tab slide it right out and then you got your plug in your taillight in your hand okay in comparison so uh on the uh the factory taillight right here we have a blue on the left right we have a red with a uh, yellow stripe and then we have a black on this taillight that we're replacing it with we have a purple in place of the blue and then we have a straight red as opposed to a red with a um with a yellow stripe and then a black uh, as well so as long as you wire those exactly the same you uh, slide those little pins in there and there's a little uh, piece that locks down over the top you'll be good to go all right so let's get this new tail light on the bike um first thing you always want to do is while you're in there and you have the tail light out i'm gonna go in and see if there's any dirt or whatever and clean that up while you're while you're there makes perfect sense too all right get all that mess out of there you get a lot of road grit and grime and stuff that gets in there builds up over time Once we have that, we got our new light ready to go in. I'm gonna set our uh, plug orientation in correctly. Uh, there's little lines in the bottom here and the clip always rides on the bottom. I'm gonna go in, push until you feel that click. Once you got that click going on, you're ready to go. I'm gonna put the tail light into place. Get it to mate exactly where you want it to sit. And we'll take our two Phillips head screws and get them started. I will tell you that this is a slightly uh, different design. So this is what they refer to as like a lay down style taillight as opposed to that factory one that we had. So um, it is gonna kind of sit in the spot a little bit different. So you do have to make sure that you have it, um, you have it like orientated right before you uh, go to put the screws in. Once you get the screws started, then go ahead and tighten them down the rest of the way and you'll feel that uh, 
the rubber start to seat a little bit. Kind of go left to right on this so that you're not over torquing one side more than the other. All right. Once you feel it start to stop, or start to bottom out, I should say, and go like maybe a quarter turn more, and then that's it. it should be nice and tight on the bike. Um, first, first impression, it looks pretty good. I like the way it uh, kind of finishes everything off, goes with the other smoked out lenses and the black exhaust tips and whatnot. So um, let's fire this thing up, see what it looks like. So first impression here, not bad, fairly bright. Uh, plate light's definitely bright, and that's gonna work out really well at night because uh, the factory one was was not very bright at all. Um, so we got that. Um, let's see what the uh, let's see what the brake looks like when we hit that as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice and bright. I think that'll. Uh, I think that'll work out well. It's definitely a different look. Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen any of these out here yet, so I guess I'm probably the first one on the block to have this, which is kind of cool. Um, I will put a link to um, uh, where I got this on Amazon and uh, on the video and or in the description. And then, um, yeah, if you're interested in it, you can pick it up for yourself. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, don't forget, um, if you would, uh, subscribe if you like the video, like the content, and uh, um, like the video, and uh, hit that bell for notifications. All right, thanks, and uh, see you on the next one.